Thank you, Senator. <clears throat> General, thank you again. And I, with my fellow senator, uh, I, I feel the same way about the family and the family's the commitment and the support you have. General, uh, how, I believe we strengthen our own cybersecurity, and we've talked about that in your experience there, working with General Nagasone and continuing on. Uh, we're only as strong as our weakest link with our partners around the world, our allied partners. How do you see them uh, coming to that or lifting up, investing enough, recruiting the right people? Are they able partners? Are they making every effort? Are they working with you, looking for our leadership? Or where do you think we have to double down and work harder? Uh, Senator, this is an area that has really expanded. In, in terms of, of what both the, the geographic combatant commands are asking us to do with uh -huh. partners and those areas that the Department of Defense has asked you as Cyber Command to take a leadership role with partners. And, and when you think about what that gives us in terms of the ability to scale collectively against common threats, we're seeing that. We, we have a continual increase every year in our cyber flag exercise where partners come together and in a multilateral environment, we work on best practices. Are they making the same commitments you think as we are, or are there any of them ahead of us that we could be doing better to catch up, or are they moving with us in, in that uh, same time frame? I think they're moving, they're moving with us. I think there are partners that, that we're going to work with, particularly with Indo-PACOM. Uh, areas that Indo-PACOM has asked us to work is, is, is a, a focus in addition to our, our longstanding partnerships with Japan and South Korea and Taiwan. Uh, Australia, they want us to look at other countries uh, like Singapore, Thailand, and also the Philippines. As, so we, talk those about, we'll as we talk about retention and recruitment, uh, what is the force strength right now, your force strength as far as cyber? Uh, the overall billet structure of U.S. Cyber Command within our cyber forces is right around 6,000. Uh, we hover right around an 85% fill rate today. Can I won't fill? do that math publicly, Senator. No problem. Can you, uh, can you fill that void at 15%, do you believe? And how, how do you intend to do that? That's a partnership with the services. And, and I think the more we refine what we need from the services and then allow them to be focused on the recruiting and the retention components and allowing us to develop that force with advanced training, uh, there's going to be a great opportunity for us to continue to grow. And finally, I'll get to the budget because there's so many, I've talked to so many militaries, retired and current, uh, off the record, if you will, that have told me that if we got our budget done on time by September 30th, which we'd never ever do hardly, but if we did that, there'd be tremendous savings within the military, especially because you have guarantees and certainties, contracts you have. I've been told at least 5% savings. So if you look at 800, I'm just, I'll round it off to the $880 billion budget we have for military, that's $44 billion of additional spending uh, that you could do within the conframes of what you have. Uh, do you think those savings, I mean, by us being able to get a certain budget, not a CR or an omnibus, as the games we've played here for far too long? Senator, for U.S. Cyber Command for this year, it's particularly acute. If for every day that we operate under FY23 rules, when the budget is passed, we have to back out every single one of those transactions and then execute them under the new rules that will be passed by Congress. So we will be doubling and tripling our work for every transaction, for every day we're in a CR. I believe so strongly in that, and we've done, we haven't done anything to, to, uh, to really reprimand ourselves from not doing our job because all we keep asking for is that we'll just give additional money for basically our lack of doing the urgency that needs to be done for the expertise and also for the cost savings. It's just a shame. So with that, I appreciate very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Manchin. Senator Scott.